Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hi guys. Today we are going to start our lecture on titration, and uh, this lecture is basically based on 2020 past paper, and we will do the calculation, all the calculations related to the mole and stoichiometry by using the titration question in this paper. So this is the paper of 2024-1. So we have to start this question now. This is the question actually. in which uh, experiment was given that lime water is saturated solution of calcium hydroxide uh, a student finds the mass of calcium hydroxide in 1.0 decimeter cube of lime water so what basically we have lime water is a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide we have calcium hydroxide okay a student finds the mass of calcium hydroxide so what thing we have to calculate basically the mass of calcium hydroxide is needed to be uh, calculate so lime water is a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide a student finds the mass of calcium hydroxide in 1.00 decimeter cube of lime water the student what basically have done this student has done the following steps Number one, measures twenty-five point zero centimeter cube of lime water into the flask using a one hundred centimeter cube of measuring cylinder. Okay. First of all, what basically happen? Lime water twenty-five point zero centimeter cube was measured by using by using the measuring cylinder. All right. in this experiment measuring cylinder is being used or graduated cylinder okay in this lime water is measured that is 25.0 cm cube right after measuring 25.0 cm cube of lime water into a flask using a 100 cm cube of measuring cylinder add a few drops of methyl orange indicator to the flask okay the indicator which is used that is the methyl orange this one is the indicator methyl orange place 0.100 mole decimeter cube so this is the known concentration of hcl which is taken in the burette and takes the initial reading reading runs hydrochloric acid from the burette into the flask until the mixture changes the color record the final reading so what student has done measured 25.0 cm cube of lime water into a flask using a measuring cylinder a measuring cylinder was used of uh, of uh, 100 cm cube okay in this uh, measuring cylinder it was weighed and in the burette this is the burette actually this is the burette so in the burette hcl has taken okay this one is burette and hcl is in it okay methyl orange measures lime water into a flask using 100 cm cube which flask this one is the conical flask actually let me take change the color for the conical flask okay uh this one is the conical flask which has taken by the student in which 25.0 cm cube of calcium lime water calcium hydroxide is added in it okay air calcium hydroxide or lime water is taken in this flask 25.0 cm cube of lime water is taken in this flask by using the measuring cylinder by using this the student pour 25.0 here and by using this measuring cylinder he pour lime water in this flask okay after that few drops of methyl orange uh, added in it okay hcl mayes 25.0 lime water it is alkaline in nature so the initial color for the methyl orange will be yellow 
when we will add methyl orange in it methyl orange so methyl orange is an indicator which shows which turns all of this solution yellow in alkali lime water is an alkali and methyl orange turns yellow in alkaline solution so this uh, conical flask will placed under the burette okay and yellow color because of the presence of uh, meth uh, methyl orange methyl orange turns the solution colors to yellow right so after uh, adding drop wise hcl in it the color will change the end point will become yes red so solution will start getting red or orange red basically the word is being used okay the initial and final reading for all titration are given we will move towards the calculation okay the initial and final reading for all the titration for all the titrations are given so we will fill this table first by using this reading okay the second actually this second this one is the final reading these are the final readings which we will fill final first uh, raw is of final reading so we will fill it with the final readings like 11.6 second reading is 23.7 23.7 third reading is 34.9 okay the next uh, initial reading if we will see the these are the burettes which shows the initial readings so initial readings are the first one is 0 next one is 11.6 another one is 23.7 so these are the initial and final readings we will minus these values and get the answer here minus these values 23.7 minus 11.6 we will get 12.1 cm cube 34.9 minus uh, with 23.7 and then we will get 11.2 cm cube so this this is the way through which we will fill this table after uh, reading the values the results are not consistent next question identify the apparatus the student uses that is not accurate enough for titration so in the titration uh, measuring cylinder is not giving us the exact value to measure the 25.0 cm cube so in order to take the exact we should need pipette so the structure of uh, the uh, pipet is basically is like this so the set uh, volume 25.0 2010 it is available in different ranges but in this experiment we will use 20 we should use 25.0 cm cube but as the student has done um a little um a wrong kind of apparatus which wasn't good so identify the apparatus that the student uses that is not accurate that is the measuring cylinder measuring cylinder is the so measuring cylinder is the is the apparatus which is not accurate enough suggest a more accurate piece of apparatus definitely the, this one is the pipet which one is the most accurate burit is also uh, can be used to measure which can give us a very accurate results okay in the next part the student adds the hydrochloric acid drop by drop near the end point of the titration suggest why the hydrochloric acid is added drop by drop near the end point to make sure the exact volume for neutralization is determined the exact volume which is used for the neutralization it is used for the neutralization so we have to use drop wise as the color will change we will stop the titration so the why we use hydrochloric acid drop by drop i am going to write the answer to make sure to make sure the exact 
volume to make sure the exact volume for neutralization for neutralization is determined so this is the answer for this part okay the student repeat the whole experiment three more times using the three more accurate apparatus right again he has done the experiment and these values will come right these are the values so after getting these values the pick the best iteration 11.2 11.6 or 11.3 so here the very nearest values are 11.8 and 11.6 so these both of these values are very much accurate because the difference between them is 0.2 which is expect, uh, acceptable so this is the way through which we will tick these uh, values okay next use the uh, ticked values to calculate the average volume of yes we have to get the average volume how we will calculate the average volume 11.8 plus 11.6 both of these values we will divide it by 2 11.8 divided by 11.6 the answer will be 11.7 so 11.7 centimeter cube of HCl will be used so the next value for the next part calculate the number of moles of HCl in the average volume of 0 0.100 mole per decimeter cube so what we have to calculate the number of moles so in order to calculate the number of moles of hcl which formula we have and which formula we will use it will be this moles is equal to concentration into volume and volume must be in decimeter cube because this is the part of formula concentration is given this is 0 0.100 how we came to know that this is the concentration after having a look on the uh, unit the mole per decimeter cube is the unit for the concentration so this is the concentration 0 0.100 mole per decimeter cube is the concentration we will multiply it with the volume in decimeter cube not in centimeter cube so we will use 11.7 divided by 1000 to convert this value into decimeter cube so this value will be divided and the answer will be first we will divide 11.7 multiply by 1000 then answer will be 0 0.00117 the answer can be as uh, 1.17 into 10 raised to power minus 3 so answer can be written like this some calculator shows the calculation like this so don't be get upset and worried you can write it like this so the next part calculate the number of moles of calcium hydroxide in 25.0 centimeter cube of lime water do you remember in the previous we have said that we have measured the amount of lime water in conical flask that is of 25.0 centimeter cube 25.0 centimeter cube okay uh, calculate the number of moles of calcium hydroxide in 25 moles we have used so uh, we will use the volume which we have calculated here so the moles of calcium hydroxide we know here you can see we know the moles of hcl which we have calculated in this part the moles of hcl are 0 0.00177 so we will do the ratio method like this i will write hcl because we have to calculate the moles of calcium hydroxide from the equation we will use the ratio method and after using the ratio method we will use this accurately how i will tell you in this equation we have two moles of hcl and one mole of one mole of calcium hydroxide and two moles of hcl right hcl 0 0.00117 moles of hcl how many moles of calcium hydroxide will be there so we will divide 0 0.00117 divided by 2 and after dividing it by 2 what will be the answer we will get the answer it will be 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव एट फाइव यू कैन राइट इट लाइक फाइव पॉइंट एट फाइव इंटू टेन रेज टू पार माइनस फोर सो दिस कैन बी द वे थ्रू विच यू कैन राइट द आंसर रेशो मैथड ऑलवेज गो अलॉन्ग विद वेन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम वन कंपाउंड टू अनदर इफ वी हैव टू मूव फ्रॉम वन कंपाउंड टू अनदर कंपाउंड देन इन दैट केस वी हैव टू यूज दिस रेशो मैथड एंड फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन वी विल यूज द मोल्स एंड देन वी विल मूव टूवर्ड्स अनदर कंपाउंड विच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कैलकुलेट और समथिंग मैथ और वट एवर सो हेयर दीज आर दीज आर द पॉइंट्स so calculate the number of moles of calcium hydroxide in 1.0 decimeter cube of lime water questions are very easy but but try to understand now in the experiment he was saying that calculate the number of moles of calcium hydroxide here we have calculated the calcium hydro moles of calcium hydroxide in 25.0 cm cube and now he is saying that calculate the calcium hydroxide in 1.00 dm3 so first of all we will convert 25.0 cm3 into dm3 by dividing it with 1000 we will get the answer let me calculate we will get the answer it will be 0.025 the answer which will be calculate is 0.025 okay now these are the moles which we have calculated in 25 cm cube or 0.025 dm3 cube now we can get the answer like by using 0.025 okay um we will do the ratio method this we will separate it in 0.025 dm3 we got the moles that are 0.000585 we got the moles 0.000585 moles right in 0.025 we will convert it it will be 0.025 dm3 right So in zero point zero two five decimeter cube we will get the moles zero point zero 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 five eight five eight five eight five okay. If we will use the word one point zero zero one point zero zero decimeter cube will have how many moles? So cross multiplicate we will do. The answer will be zero point after zero point zero two three. Four. Let me again calculate it. Just wait for a minute. Zero point zero two five. Zero point zero 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 five eight five. Zero point zero 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 five eight five multiplied by one point zero zero divided by zero point zero two five and answer will be zero point zero three two three four. Yes, answer is correct. So this is the answer of this part. Let's move ahead. Yes, this is the calculate the MR of calcium hydroxide. Yes, very easy. How to calculate the cal uh, molecular mass of calcium hydroxide? You can have a look here. If you don't know how to calculate, you can watch my video on how to calculate the molecular mass. Uh, link will be given below. So, calcium is forty uh, plus oxygen is sixteen plus hydrogen is one two forty plus sixteen plus one seventeen. Seventeen multiplied by two again forty plus thirty-four is equal to answer is four and seventy-four, right? So seventy-four is the answer for the calculation of um, MR of this substance, right? So now we have to calculate the mass of calcium hydroxide in one point zero zero decimeter cube of lime water. 
means we have to use the moles which we have calculated in 1.00 right decimeter cube the answer is 0.0234 we will use the moles of this 1.00 mole decimeter cube answer is 0.034 so whenever we have to calculate the mass of a, a substance we have the formula and the formula to calculate moles of solid will be same through which we will drive the next formula like we can use here that is my pen okay uh, we will use we know the formula to calculate moles of solids is equal to mass given mass over mr so if we have to calculate this mass we have the formula mass is equal to moles into relative molecular mass so we have calculated the mass 74 so in the um, one uh, 1.00 decimeter cube the moles of calcium hydroxide are 0.0234 so we will move next 0.0234 so here we will write the moles that will be the 0.0234 we will multiply by this and get the mass in grams that is 1.73 gram so this is the way through which we will calculate uh, the mass of the substance consistency is the key of success if you will practice this question again and again then you will inshallah get the command on such kind of titration type calculations so don't forget to if you get even a single thing from my lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button Thank you very much. Signing off, Miss Aisha Mansur.